welcome back to my channel. I am going to film a another tutorial, but kind of uh, mixed in with a review or vice versa. So I wanted to basically do a review on the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. There we go. Um, number 8 Light Tan. So... Um, yeah, and this foundation is meant to be basically medium to full coverage. It's meant to be quite lightweight, despite that it's going to give you the coverage of apparently wearing a concealer. I suspect I will still need to wear a concealer. I already moisturized and prepped my face. Okay, so I'm going to use the NARS Ginger Concealer. I need to do a review on this. Um, but I'm going to use the NARS Ginger Concealer as a eyeshadow base. So I'm just going to use my finger to press that all over lid. And when I'm doing this, I like to go quite, I like to go up to basically my brow it doesn't necessarily mean like I'm gonna put anything there but it's just like nice for it to be covered and the same um, tone as the rest of the eye so I'm going to then set that I'm just gonna set that with some Laura Mercier oh my god this watch is so it's looking really like ugly let me just take it off um, this is my husband's by the way, it's his Fitbit that I got him for Christmas and I've been wearing it for the last few days just to track my calories which um, or the calories that I'm burning and it's becoming quite addictive doing that and I always said I would never like track my calories, I would just literally work out until I'm sweating and just not eat crap and that's what I've pre pretty much been doing I need to do a video on that as well um, I'm just going to use a spoolie brush my brows up I also need to get my brows done as well they're looking wild um, for brows I'm going to use just take an angled brush this is BH Cosmetics angled brush and I'm going to take um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. And I'm just going to basically outline a little bit of my arch with that. And then just here at the front. I feel like I should bring you guys. Okay, I know this is quite like up close, um, but I just wanted you guys to be able to see facial fuzz and all. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to basically do my arch, outline my arch with this. And then like I said, just outline the bottom here and then I'm going to use Bryn on the same angled brush and I'm just going to do feather strokes to fill in any sparse areas that bother me like little light feather strokes For the eyeshadow, I think I'm going to stick pretty neutral, I know, boring, but um, I don't want to have to redo my makeup, but I'm going to stick pretty neutral and I've been obsessed with using this palette, it's of course the chocolate bar palette, and I'm going to start off with my favourite like kind of transition colour, and this is the shade um, Salted Caramel, and it's like, um, just a, it's, it's a peach basically is what it is. I'm going to take that on a 2 to 4 so a soft blending brush, tap off most of the excess and I'm just going to basically do swirly motions all along the um, bone, eyebrow bone I guess. Do swirly motions And 
and then just taking a clean blending brush pretty much the same brush but this is from BH Cosmetics it's 101 um, I'm just going to basically feather out and just make sure there's no like loose eye product just set and that's enough that's my transition like it doesn't need to be intense it is a transition um, then I'm gonna go into um, the shade semi sweet which is a nice warm chocolate brown on the same brush that we've used the transition shade I'm gonna start here in the corner and just do again like little um, swirly motions but not as obviously um, free-handed or as wide as I was doing the transition shade not yet anyway and I like to go like in here recently I've been really enjoying going into the inner corner depends really and then again take my blending brush and then blend that out I'm going to take a 217 so a blending brush that's not as fluffy but a little bit more um, firm and I'm going to take the same colour that we've just used but I'm going to just do back and forth motions with it and I'm just building that depth here um, and I'm not taking it into the inner corner like I did with the rest and then here I'm going to turn my brush to the side basically so it's not like that and I'm just going to just feather it out and then after that I'm going to take this shade which is triple fudge it looks like I'm pretty much using all um, chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I'm going to take that on the same um, precise like little 217 brush and I'm going to pop that in the crease but I'm going to swirl it here into the corner as well. marzipan this one here it looks like a like a frosty rose gold pink and I'm gonna take that I'm gonna wet my brush once should do it and I'm just gonna see how it goes on with the brush otherwise we're gonna use our fingers let's pack that on And that, I'm just going to take it into the this third of the eye and then I'm going to use a blending brush that I've not used before, clean one and I'm just going to push the dark colour into the this light colour because if I push the light colour into the dark colour because it's a shimmer and it's like frosty um, it's just going to make the dark area here which is all matte which is what you want it to be um, it's going to make it look like blotchy and like like shimmery and just um, quite bitty so that's why I'm using just a clean brush to blend in. Okay I've done the other eye but for some reason I don't know why but it looks a lot lighter as a shade but I think it's to do with my ring light because my ring light's here I don't know Anyway, okay, I'm going to use the Maybelline eyeliner. This is the Master Ink and this is the satin version. And I'm going to basically um, just do, I'm just basically going to do a little wing. I say little, but. Okay, so liner is done. I'm going to do mascara and then. I'm gonna think about 
Let's do foundation. Before I do that, I'm just going to clean up under my eyes just so it's nice and hopefully flawless under there. And this is the time, like, obviously, if you've had like fallout and all your eyeshadow has kind of gone quite far down when blending, or your eyeliner, like, you can really fix it all up here. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use, like I said, the Milani. So let's use that. I'm just going to try one pump. Oh, it comes out quite, like, thick. I'm going to use it with the Real Techniques brush because I've been using this brush. And I want to whack it on real quick, so... You can tell straight away the color is like most drugstore foundations for my skin tone it's got a little like peach in it as opposed to yellow like peachy kind of almost reddish peach undertone like so that's you can clearly see the difference so <laughs> So the shade is not great, but we can make it work, I'm sure. I'm just going to have to brighten under my eye, I guess. Now I'm only taking it, normally I don't like to take my foundation too high under here, but because it says it's for concealing, it's only fair. But it's making obviously my under eye because it's not the right shade a bit darker and because obviously <laughs> it is not matching me right now it's making me look hella tanned i'm just gonna take this down and i'm gonna take this across my ears as well so they don't look pasty in comparison And yeah, I mean, it's a full coverage foundation for sure. And it feels it as well. It says lightweight. I feel, I feel, I feel it basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, we're going to have to brighten this up. So I'm going to use the Becca uh, under eye brightening corrector. This is obviously very bright. You'll see what I mean. Let's just take a little bit, pop that under here. So this is obviously a corrector, not a concealer, so I'm just going to pop it on with my fingers on both sides. Let's take it down kind of parallel to my nose. Um, I think it's the lighting. And I think it's the fact that the window is here, so um, this side looks like I've got more product on. It's the same, but yeah, I mean, I'll have the lighting sorted out for next time, guys. Um, basically, work that in. When I say work that in, I'm just like pushing, but I'm being quite firm, but I'm kind of using this like rolling technique. On concealer, I'm going to use NARS's Ginger. This is a soft matte complete concealer. I have a review on this as well coming, I just not um, edited it. So I'm popping that on top. Um, what I am going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the ginger concealer and I'm just going to take it underneath the wing. Set. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just going to set that with the blending brush so I'm going to take a pencil brush and the same transition shade that I used which was like the peach I'm just going to run that underneath my lash line 
Okay, I'm gonna contour quickly. I'm gonna use the Anastasia palette and I just mix a bunch of these shades. I'm taking the Expert Face pr Brush from Real Techniques and I'm just gonna push that into my jawline. And then do that on the other side. And then along here, my lower jawline. I'm going to use the Hourglass Bronzer. This is the Mirage Superficial Bronzer. And I'm just going to use that to add a little bit more warmth. As opposed to like a, just like the contour shade. And I'll take... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these lashes on. These are the Soho Backstage Lashes. I'm going to pop these on just so you can um, see how this looks with lashes because I know it can't like instantly transforms the look. So what I will do before I do that is show you without lashes. So first let me do my lip. I'm going to use this lip liner by Laura Mercier. This is Plumberry. Yeah, Plumberry. And I really into, I think I mentioned this in my vlog maybe, really into applying my lip liner and um, smudging it. So it doesn't look like lip liner really. Lashes are on. I actually prefer this look without lashes. I think it looked a little bit more like delicate, but I mean, I do love these lashes even though I should have cut them. But I just couldn't find scissors right now, so I've not cut them to perfect size. So, but I'm going to use this product. This is the Master Strobing Stick Illuminating Highlighter. Look at the state of it, guys. This is what my son has done to it. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this product. Um, it's so, so subtle, like, like there. It's so, so subtle. It doesn't look like you have anything on. I'm just putting it above my lip line. And I'm gonna blend that. I'm gonna just take some of that on my cheek. And I'm just gonna pop that in the center. Like so. And then you could definitely leave it matte I am going to just pop on some lip gloss. This is Seduction by Charlotte Tilbury. And again, I'm just going to put this gloss exactly where I put um, the lipstick. And I think that's it. But guys, this is the look. This is the finished look. I realised in the outro that I just filmed, my eyelashes looked crazy because it just popped off. Um, but yeah, but this is the finished look. This is a close up. I hope actually this is better. This is in natural light. We've got the ring light over here. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and sorry for the awkward outro right now. But yeah, bye.